Hey there folks, it's Brittany Jackson from Learning Technologies and today I want to show you how to use heading levels in Word on your iPad specifically. Heading levels make the make your document more accessible so we want to try to use them whenever um, possible and appropriate. So as you can see here I am on a Word document and you can see up here across the top I've got the home tab open and if you click right here where that little A with the paintbrush is this is where you're going to find the different styles. So in order to make sure that you are going appropriate heading styles, you normally start with heading one. And then the next one here, we go back up here. That should be heading two. And then if we go down again, we're going to go back up to that styles again. And we just work our way down through the headings. And eventually if you see here, you scroll up you can see where you get to heading four heading five and then up at the top here the most common one is the normal which would be the paragraph on a regular document so normally folks go heading one then heading two and then occasionally heading three and then typically after that it's heading four it just depends on how many heading styles you need but you would just work your way so the the overarching thing or the title of the document would be the heading one Heading two would be your little subheadings. Um, heading three would be a little bit, you know, a subheading of a subheading and so on and so forth. So just recognize and realize that these are important to try and use, especially for accessibility purposes. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to Learning Technologies. We're here to help you.